Yo. Hey, did you see the show on TV last night? Now Takun was on. That thing about the detective prince solving the case? Come on, we're the ones who actually caught the killer. But the police were the ones who identified the suspect, and he was cooperating with them on it, right? So it's true that he helped solve the case. I'm kind of surprised, though. I didn't think he was the type to go after the spotlight like that. Good morning. I've been waiting for you all. There's something I needed to discuss with you regarding the case. Discuss? Dude, we'll be late if we talk too long. Hey, where's your uniform? Could you please indulge my current theory on the matter? What is it? First, as regards commonalities between the victims, all of them were kidnapped before they were murdered. The victims were all locals who had been the focus of recent media attention, becoming suddenly well-known. That is the most likely scenario. I don't believe there's anything intrinsically unique about the victims themselves. Haven't you all come to the same conclusion? Then allow me to state my point. Will you admit that a number of you fit these identical circumstances? There was a long interval between the second and third deaths in this case. But after I applied the aforementioned criteria, I discovered several similar disappearances had taken place. Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. All of you disappeared shortly after being shown on TV. Either you escaped death somehow, or you faked your own disappearances in order to divert attention from yourselves. Since some of you had ties to the victims, there came a point where I suspected one of you must be the culprit. You thought one of us was the killer? You can't be serious! This was a prior theory, since discarded. Putting together everything I've learned until this moment, I believe exactly the opposite. You aren't the culprits. You may, in fact, be the only ones with the means to pursue the true perpetrator. Seen as a joining of forces between the rescued, everything falls into place. Of course, this is all speculation. There is in fact a flaw in the theory. It doesn't account for the third incident, Mr. Moraoka's murder. He has never been broadcast on television, and neither did he ever disappear. We must also consider the condition of his corpse. The first two victims are still listed with an unknown cause of death. But Mr. Moraoka died of an easily identifiable blunt force trauma to the occipital cranium. The police have not satisfactorily resolved this discrepancy, yet they are desperate to close the case. Further action will be necessary to obtain some sort of decisive evidence. Further action? What do you mean? Well, whatever the outcome, the evidence should come to light. You said something interesting to me not long ago. Hey, where are you going? This is not a game for me, either. Naoto-kun? Yo! Alright! Hey man!
I really did like you back then. Ha <laughs> ha! 